Why is there so much negativity in the English teaching space? Some say it's just because of competition. They just want to see who is the best. Some say it's because of greed. They just want money. And some say it's because of vanity. They just want more followers. But for some reason, people love watching drama. So I wanted to find a way to convert this negative energy into something positive and channel the attention of this drama to focus on healthy competition. And that's why I was delighted to participate in something completely new, a competition between English teachers with clear rules to determine who the winner is, prize money for the winner, and with exposure to millions of English learners. It's called the World Battle English Championship. I participated as a judge and it was an amazing experience. But I'll tell you more about that in another video very soon. In this video, we're going to explore the drama and the negativity of the industry to better understand why a solution like Battle English is needed. English, motherfucker, do you speak it? I wasn't sure if I should make this video. It looks like a fraud, like a scam. That a white male native speaker is telling a successful non-native English speaking woman. Drama. I'm not a fan of Lingua Marina's content. I shamed her in public. It's a horrible thing to do. I am so sorry. <laughs> We received a lot of hateful comments. Her video makes me angry. <laughs> Let's talk about English with Lucy and the language learning industry. I have removed these videos and I'm reviewing the rest of my channel to make sure that I don't push any of these prejudices. <laughs> oh my God. Lucy is just an example, a, a massive example, because, you know, she has 4 million subscribers. Her videos get millions of views. When you have 4 million subscribers on your YouTube channel and your videos regularly get millions of views, then you become a representative of your industry. You know, she's at the top of the, of the, of the hierarchy of online YouTube teachers, no doubt. I love making catchy videos. Only a few thousand people in the whole English speaking world talk like that, the, the more you learn, the more you realize that, that it's just a really old fashioned way of thinking. I think she's happy. I'm angry at myself and I'm angry at the way that I have been making people feel. In the video, Lucy gives a list of 10 words that you have to pronounce in a specific way in order to sound professional and educated and intelligent. A little girl will watch that video and she will trust in the teacher and then she will grow up thinking that the way that she sounds makes her stupid. I never intended to convey or spread that toxic message but I did convey it and I need to apologize. Her video makes me angry. It crossed the line into prejudice and discrimination. According to the video, this is what the world looks like. Unintelligent, uneducated, unprofessional. I am so sorry to everyone who felt hurt by that video. And I'm so sorry to everyone who has ever been made to feel unprofessional, uneducated, or stupid by any of my videos. Well, you're stupid fight me you know she's a smart girl and she's a young girl i have arranged conversations with some of the experts that have criticized me to those who have criticized me thank you i shamed her in public it's a horrible thing to do yeah. horrible thing to do you know recently i was spawned with the video by kevin and lisa like english for everyone with kevin and lisa lisa as far as i remember where they are criticizing uh, marina mcgilko aka lingua marina you have millions of viewers trust in you that you teach them how to speak like a native speaker with an american accent and you tell them not to say happy birthday you tell them not to say the correct thing you tell them not to say what native speakers say and instead you teach them to say happy 18 years old. She at least has a C1 level, and I would even say possibly a C2 
Есть канал, мне многие из вас про это писали, что канал, на котором разбирают, а, значит, мой английский, про то, какой он плохой, про то, что я мошенница, там они в комментариях пишут, что нужно всему миру показать, что я мошенница и так далее. Окей. The criticisms they make of her, I think, are absolutely spot on. Criticism is important. I would even say criticism is crucial for any development. Yeah, of course, there is a difference between constructive criticism and just being shamed. I shamed her in public. It's a horrible thing to do. It shows blatant disrespect. When she mispronounces them, but then gives them as authority as to this is how you should pronounce a word. That's where I have the problem. I've got another video where Heather, English with Heather, uh, is criticizing Kevin and Lisa for criticizing Marina Magilko. And I think I have to clarify something. Heather was advocating Marina Magilko and she was putting forward an idea that everyone makes mistakes and we shouldn't harass each other for mistakes, which I totally agree. But this is not the full picture. There are some small details that uh, Heather, I guess, doesn't know about. <laughs> нужно всему миру показать, что я мошенница и так далее. Окей. Okay. And by the way, am I the only one who is bothered by the fact that a white male native speaker is telling a successful non-native English speaking woman to basically keep her head down, be quiet and stop showing up because she doesn't sound like, well, him? A white native speaker can't correct mistakes? It's absolutely unreasonable. It's not the white man criticizing the woman. It's a person criticizing another person. Why it always should be about genders and about discrimination? It's not about that. I'd like to say that Marina was chosen as an object of criticism, not without reason. I think you're doing a stupendous job and you need to keep on doing what you're doing as far as exposing Lingua Marina for the mistakes that she makes. And maybe it was just two years ago. Maybe now it has changed, but no. Also viewed her course where she had a collaboration with Lucy from English with Lucy channel and there is the same thing. No listening, no speaking, nothing. Also I think it's kind of hypocritical to appeal to non-toxic and healthy teaching studying environment and still criticize people who are criticized. It's like being a pedophile and screaming, oh look this is a pedophile. You know what, for those of you who might argue that they really do care about correct English, let's look at the tags below the video. Hashtag viral, hashtag viral video, hashtag viral video, hashtag viral status, viral videos, Marina McGilko, Lingua Trip, Lingua Trip TV, Lingua Marina, Marina McGilko, McGilko. Hmm. Kevin and Lisa, a YouTube channel that has actually done some good, but has actually done some bad. They did a critique about someone named Chris Americos. This is when I started questioning the intent of their video. At first, I thought they were exposing them. I was happy that they were doing this. But the Chris Americos video, it was something different. This was the first time it showed they're not really trying to do this to make people more informed about English. They're really trying to do it to criticize people and to bring a negative vibe to English speaking. I'm not disappointed. I'm like, oh, like, good hit like good punch you know what I mean? <laughs> like, like you're in the box and you're like training with someone and they like smacked you real good and you're like oh that was that was good okay yeah, see what you did there yeah <laughs> chris americos did a rebuttal video of theirs and i think it was spot on because this was the time where i think kevin and lisa or liza went over the line that they tried to find criticism that wasn't there. They had to take the smallest, most minute, most insignificant thing in a video and blow it up and treat it as if it was the worst mistake ever made. Pointing out every mistake, slip of the tongue, or pronunciation inconsistency they could find. But when you go against people who make very, very small mistakes that can be very much due to a regional pronunciation or just how they pronounce something. And then you say, don't look at the dictionaries. The dictionaries are wrong. I am the one with the infinite knowledge when it comes to all the pronunciation. It looks like a fraud, like a scam. We're going to critique everything that everyone says in every little tiny, minute, small little detail. We're going to twist it. We're going to turn it. You know, it's, it's just human nature that everyone makes mistakes. So... I just, I just saw the irony of 
uh, making videos, correcting mistakes and making a mistake, correcting the mistake. And <laughs> I'm mad because they actually say, don't listen to the dictionary. Listen to me. My question is, is delegitimizing another creator really the best way and most effective way to do that? Claiming them to be a fraud despite the value that they've provided for their audience. It's about the fact that she hasn't corrected any of her videos, but instead she makes videos bragging about how much money she earns on YouTube. But it's not the mistakes that they're terrified of. It's people's reaction to their mistakes. It's the fear of experiencing exactly what you and everyone else in the comments mocking Marina are doing to Marina. Так прикольно, что канал называется «Английский для всех», ну, на английском. Но мне кажется, его надо переименовывать в английский, не для, не для Марины, никак. I want to say something to all of you who really enjoyed Marina's public humiliation and commented about her English and actually how much she's not bringing value in all of that. Not seeing that there is something so fundamentally wrong with this video. Oh, you're so toxic. Well, you're so toxic. Yeah, maybe I'm toxic. That's... <laughs> Естественно, когда про тебя такое говорят, что ты мошенник, что ты не имеешь права вообще э, говорить про английский на Ютубе, Сразу, естественно, у тебя возникает там два чувства. Первое мое чувство там злость, ярость. Второе чувство там надо ответить и так далее. In a lingua marina video, I mentioned that English for everyone had made four errors in the first two minutes and 30 seconds of a video that they had done about gerunds. The video that I wanted to talk about, I actually showed a clip of it. That video has been removed from the English for everyone channel. <laughs> Lucy is just a symptom of a sick industry. An industry that is obsessed with standard English and native speakers. There are some behaviors in the online teaching industry, YouTube in particular, that need to be called out if we want to foster a healthy, non-competitive and supportive environment. Не бойтесь то, что ваш язык не на 100% идеален, потому что ни у одного носителя он на 100% не идеален. As you can see, we need a solution. We need a safe environment. But we can't ignore the forces that drive people to do these things. That's why I highly suggest that you check out Battle English. I'll put a link in the description under this video. Each battle has three rounds. Critique combat, grammar gauntlet, and lesson showdown. And the winner of the World Battle English Championship will win a $3,000 prize and a trophy. You can participate in Battle English as a challenger or as a spectator. So click the link under this video to register today and get ready for fun, entertaining, educational battles coming soon. Thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure you press like, press subscribe, and leave a comment down below, and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.